In this video, I'm going to talk about how type conversion works in C. So type conversion is when we take a value of a certain type and convert it to another type. And it, the general syntax for it looks like this. We could say type expression. And what's going to happen is this expression is going to evaluate to some value. And then type here is indicating what type to convert it to, like double or int or something like that. So let's do an example. If I say here int A is equal to 5, and I say int B is equal to 2, and let's say I do division with these two numbers here. So I'll say percent %D divided by percent %D is equal to percent %D just to output the result. And I'll say A, B, then I'm going to say here A divided by B. So we're doing an integer division of A divided by B, and we're outputting the result here in this placeholder here. And if we get this result here, we're going to see that it's going to be 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2. And that's because integer division is happening. Now, what if I wanted to get the double result? What if I wanted to get 2.5 instead? We might think that I could do this, that I could say here double and say C is equal to A divided by B. And it's going to turn out this is not going to give us 2.5. So if I were to output this, I'll say percent %F here for a double, and then I'll say C here to output C, which is going to be A divided by B, and then assign the result to C. We'll see what we get. We get this, 2.0000 on and on. And it's a double value because you got the decimal point here, but integer division is still what happened. So the way C works is that it's going to actually perform the division using ints. So this is going to divide two integers. And then C is then going to implicitly convert the result to a double before it assigns it to C. So integer division happens because these are two integers here. And then C implicitly at that point, when that operation has completed, it then assigns the value as a double to C. If we actually want to get the result here as a double, what we're going to have to do is convert. We're going to have to convert A here to a double. So I could say here, open bracket, double, close bracket. And if I run this now, we'll get a different result. We get back 2.5 and then 0, 0, 0, 0. And so what's going on here is that this is actually converting a to a double value. So a gets converted to a double value. Now at this point, what's going to happen is the division will occur next. And that might be surprising. You might think that like this operation here will occur first, and then this will get converted to a double afterwards. But actually type conversion has higher precedence than division. And so what actually happens is the type conversion happens first and a, which is five, gets converted to basically 5.0. At that point, it's a double. And then we do a division with B, and then we get back 2.5, and that gets assigned to C. And that's why when we output C here, now we're getting 2.5 here. So one of the things that's interesting here is that we converted A to a double, and then the division happened with an integer here. So what's going on there? Like, how did that happen that we converted A to a double, and then this division here is still successfully occurring with an integer? So what's going on is another sort of implicit thing that C does. And when we say implicit, we mean C kind of does it automatically for us. And we're just kind of assumed to know that it's going to do that as the programmer. And that assumption is not always correct, but that's, that's what's assumed basically. So what's going on here is that when this division occurs and we have a double here and an int here, the int gets promoted. So the int gets promoted to a double. So basically when C goes to carry out this operation here, it's going to promote B to a double at that point, and then it's going to do a division with A being a double and B being a double, and we get 2.5 there. So that promotion is another sort of implicit uh, conversion of types that C does for us. And it is something to be aware of. So just as an example, down here, let's say I put in int x is equal to say 2, and we're going to say here double y is equal to let's say 5. Now let's do some operations with these and let's see what we get back as a result. So if I were to say this, if I were to say here double, and then I'm gonna say Z is equal to, and we'll do Y divided by X. Let's see what happens here first. And this time I'm just gonna print FZ. I'll just say print FZ and we'll just see what we get back here. So I'll say percent F slash N and I'll put Z. And what we've got here is we have a double being divided by an integer. So it's actually very similar to the situation here we just don't have the, ex the explicit type conversion here because y in this case already is a double. And so what we're gonna get back is basically the same thing here. We're gonna get back 
again, 2.5. So we don't really need this explicit type conversion for this behavior to happen, right? This sort of promotion of B to a double here. The same thing is happening here where X is being promoted to a double and we're performing division with then two doubles at that point. And so we don't have to do the explicit type conversion for that uh, promotion behavior to happen. What if I did this though? What if I said X divided by Y? Just out of curiosity, let's do X divided by Y. So this time we've got two divided by five here. So again, just because we've flipped the operators around doesn't impact the fact that what's going on here is the promotion of X to a double. So again, what's going on here is C is basically recognizing that we're doing a division with an int and a double. It promotes the int to a double and we do an operation here that involves two doubles at this point and we get back you know, a, a double result and then we save it to a double, we print that as a double, we get 0 0.40. What if Z was an int? So what if I said here int Z and then I output Z here as an int because now it's an int. So here we're doing X divided by Y and we have an int and a double. We might be worried that this couldn't work because maybe a double, you know, it, it can represent numbers that are decimal points and, and higher ranges than an int. So like, how can this really behave correctly? Let's see what happens again. So we'll run this here and we get Z is zero. If I were to flip the order and say Y divided by X, I get two. So what's going on here is that Again, the same thing happens as before, where because we have a double and an int in here, the the int gets promoted to a double, and then these this operation gets carried out as a double operation. Now, when we go to store the value, though, to the int here, C basically does a implicit type demotion, and we take that double value, and it basically gets demoted to an int and stored as an int into Z. So again, that's another thing that, that C does implicitly, where like we can't really see it, we don't explicitly say it, and it's just sort of assumed on our part as a developer that we know what it's going to do, we know what the behavior is, and we know what we're doing when we write the code. So now in general, I would say that I don't really like to mess with types like this because it just might be unclear to the reader of the code exactly what's going to happen if they're not familiar with this kind of thing. And a lot of developers don't really kind of keep this kind of information top of mind, right? So in general, I like to use types with the types that we expect them to be used with. That said, I mean, putting in some explicit conversions like this can sometimes be helpful. Sometimes it can be necessary to do it. Sometimes it's necessary to do, to do things like divide a double by an int because it makes no, rep, no sense whatsoever to represent something that should only ever be an int as a double. So this is type conversion in C. It's not too bad to use and hopefully this has been helpful. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.